Hey reader friends, this is Mrs. Olson and I have another holiday story to share with you today. The title of this one is Hanukkah Bear. It was written by Eric A. Kimmel and illustrated by Mike Wanushka. This book was published by Holiday House in New York and the copyright date is 2013. Old Bear awoke from his winter sleep. He poked his nose outside his den. <laughs> what was that? Mm -mm. Something to eat. Old Bear's empty stomach rumbled. He shook himself all over, then lumbered out of his den to follow the delicious smell. Bubba Brena took the last potato latke from the pan and put it in the oven with the others. Bubba Brena was 97 years old and did not hear or see as well as she used to, but she still made the best potato latkes in the village. Every year at Hanukkah time, all her friends came to her house at the edge of the forest. How they loved those latkes. Boys and girls, if you're not sure, a latke is a potato pancake and it's fried in oil and it tastes very, very yummy. Back to the story. Bubba Brena always made plenty, but tonight she made twice as many as usual. Tonight was special. Tonight, the rabbi was coming. The rabbi was Bubba Brena's teacher at the temple. Bubba Brena hurried to get ready. Look at her cleaning her home, and she's getting her menorah ready. A menorah is a beautiful candlestick that Jewish people use to celebrate Hanukkah. And they put one candle here. This is the shaman candle, and it lights other candles, one for each night of Hanukkah. There are eight places for candles, and there are eight nights in Hanukkah. Just then, she heard a thump at the door. She opened it. Rabbi, you're here early. How nice to see you. Growth, growled Old Bear. Yes, happy Hanukkah to you too. Please come in. Old Bear walked into the house. I'll take your coat, Rabbi. My, how thick it is. Bubba Brena tugged at Old Bear's fur. Old Bear roared. Grawr! Oh, you want to keep your coat on? Well, that's all right. It is chilly in here. Old Bear's nose twitched. Grawr! you, Rabbi. How kind of you to say that. The latkes will taste even better than they smell. Old Bear followed his nose to the oven. <laughs> Rabbi, I'm surprised at you. You know we don't eat until we light the menorah. Grrr. It's all right. I knew you were just teasing. I'll light the candles. Will you say the blessings? Wrong. Bubba Brena struck a match and lit the shamus candle. Then she lit one candle for the first night. Old Bear muttered and growled. Wrong. Bubba Brena said the blessing along with him, who has kept us alive and sustained us and enabled us to reach this season. Oh, Rabbi, you say the blessing so beautifully. Bubba Brena sat down at the table. Old Bear sat beside her. Let's play dreidel. We'll use these nuts. Old Bear cracked one with his teeth. Rabbi, you 
won't have any nuts for the game if you eat them. Rawr, growled Old Bear. Don't worry. I have plenty of nuts if you need more. Baba Brena spun the dreidel. It stopped on the letter Gimel. Oh, I win! Baba Brena swept the nuts into her apron. Rawr! Old Bear roared. Don't be angry, Rabbi. It's only a game here. And she tossed him a nut. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Old Bear begged for more. No, Rabbi, no more nuts. It's time for dinner. Baba Brena opened the oven door and took out a platter piled high with steaming potato latkes. Old Bear sniffed the latkes as she set them on the table. Now, do you prefer sour cream or jam? Baba Brena asked. Rawr! Old Bear growled. Jam, I thought so. Bubba Brena smeared five big latkes with jam and stacked them on Old Bear's plate. Nom, nom, nom. Old Bear gobbled them down. Bubba Brena laughed. You should use a fork. You have jam all over your beard. She wet a towel and wiped Old Bear's face. I must tell you, Rabbi, you eat like a bear. Growl. Well, I guess you're hungry like a bear, so you eat like one. I can see that, Bubba Brainer said. Old Bear ate and ate until the latkes were gone. He felt drowsy. His head flopped on Bubba Brainer's lap. Rabbi, you're sleepy. Who wouldn't be sleepy after such a meal? All the latkes are gone. It's time to go home. But before you leave, I have a Hanukkah present for you. Baba Brena took a red scarf from her knitting basket. She wrapped it around Old Bear's neck. I made it myself. Grrr. Old Bear licked Bubba Brena's face. Bubba Brena blushed. Oh, Rabbi, at my age. Old Bear shuffled to the door. Rawr, he growled as he walked off into the night. Yes, good night to you too, Rabbi. Happy Hanukkah. Bubba Brena was washing dishes when she heard another knock. I wonder who that is. Shalom, Baba Brena. All her friends stood at the door, wishing her a happy Hanukkah. Shalom, everybody, Baba Brena said. How nice to see you. I'm sorry I don't have any more latkes. The rabbi came by. He ate them all. Uh-oh. I can see why she mistook the bear for the rabbi. They kind of have the same shape and the same hair, don't they? Bubba Brena, don't you recognize me? It was the rabbi. The rabbi couldn't have eaten your latkes, everyone said. He's been with us in the synagogue. Bubba Brena? rubbed her forehead. Something strange is happening, Rabbi. I think there's an imposter going around. He looks like you. He talks like you. He even has your beard. Just then, the children cried, oh, Look at the floor! Bear tracks! Oh! <laughs> A bear? And I thought it was the rabbi. Bubba Brena had to sit down. She began to giggle. That was a very clever bear. Or a very foolish Bubba Brena. Oh, well, 
Let the bear have a happy Hanukkah. I had a happy Hanukkah too. And so will you, dear friends. Bring some potatoes from the cellar. Fetch my grater and bowl. Everybody has to help. You too, Rabbi. If we all work together, we'll soon have latkes for everyone. Deep in the forest, Old Bear slumbered in his den. His stomach was full of potato latkes. The warm woolen scarf was wrapped snugly around his neck. Pleasant dreams, Old Bear, and Happy Hanukkah! Shh. Like so many of our books lately, this one ends with a recipe. And this time you can probably guess that the recipe is for latkes. To make the latkes, you would need potatoes and an onion and eggs, either matzo meal or flour, salt, and then some kind of oil for frying. And the directions are down below. How fun! Well, if you celebrate this special Jewish holiday, Happy Hanukkah! See you next time. Bye-bye!